What up YouTube, Will here, hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to make an amazing cake that'll bring smiles to everyone's faces, whether it's birthdays, anniversaries, or even showing off to your work colleagues. This Biscoff Victoria sponge cake will blow everyone's mind. So follow my simple guide to make each and every component of this cake, from the sponge cake, to the buttercream, and even our own Biscoff spread. So without further ado, let's get cracking. First off, let's make our glaze, which will moisten the cake and bring extra flavor. Start by heating up 120 grams of unsalted butter with 60 ml of water and 150 grams of sugar. Mix these up on a medium heat until the butter and sugar dissolves. Once the sugar is dissolved, you can add 60 ml of rum to bring extra flavor to the cake. Of course, this is optional. When doing this, take it off the heat, mix well and set aside to cool. Next up, the sponge cake, where we start off with 400 grams of butter and 400 grams of sugar. Put these in a mixing bowl and mix until pale and fluffy. Then, add in your six eggs. I would recommend adding the eggs one by one to ensure they are well combined. It may seem like a long process, but trust me, this way your cake will become more airy and more fluffy. Follow that up with 30 ml of milk, along with a teaspoon of vanilla paste or two teaspoons of vanilla essence. Once well combined, add in your sifted 400 grams of plain flour along with your 16 grams of baking powder. Once homogenous, divide the batter into two 22 cm cake tins or 8 inch cake tins. Then bake these beauties in a preheated oven at 180 Celsius, that's about 360 Fahrenheit, for about 40 minutes until a skewer or a knife comes out clean. Now we're going to make our own Biscoff spread, which will be similar in taste, but a bit different in texture. However, this will be great to spread on the cake. Now first off, grind 125 grams of Biscoff biscuits with 35 grams of brown sugar. Now you don't necessarily need to use Biscoff biscuits. If they are unavailable where you are, there are some alternatives such as malt biscuits like Horlicks and butter caramel if in Sri Lanka, which I find it has a similar taste to Biscoff or any other caramel flavored biscuit. To the ground biscuits, we add 100 grams of double cream along with a pinch of cinnamon, 10 grams of unsalted softened butter until well combined. Another thing to make whilst the cakes are baking is the buttercream which is only 250 grams of unsalted butter with 500 grams of icing sugar. If you don't like tasting that whiff of icing sugar that's released into the air, then there's something wrong with you, mate. Add in one teaspoon of vanilla paste or two teaspoon of vanilla extract and your buttercream is done. Once baked, Take your cakes out out of the oven and set aside to cool. Then divide each cake into two to get four layers. For the first three layers, start off by soaking the cake with your sugar syrup and then follow that up with buttercream and then the Biscoff spread. I find this combination much more easier to work with. Now to the second layer, I added the original Biscoff spread, which I heated up for about 15 seconds in the microwave. This is to show you the difference in consistency of the spread that we've made and the original. Continue layering up until you reach the top layer, which ideally should be the bottom part of one of the cakes, 
flipped upside down. This way it will be easier to coat with the buttercream. Initially soak the cake with the syrup and then cover the whole cake with the buttercream. Now to decorate, to the bottom of the cake I dabbed on some crumbs of Biscoff and then used a brush to neaten up that border. Using baking paper rolled into a cone with a small hole, I piped out some heated Biscoff spread to create this tripping effect. Then to the top I added another layer of heated Biscoff spread. Be careful when neatening up the edges because you don't want to ruin that beautiful border that you created. Follow that up with some buttercream flowers. And then sprinkle some ground Biscoff. I hope you enjoyed this Biscoff Victorian sponge cake episode. If you did, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Look how moist that cake is and trust me, it's a winner. Hope you all have a beautiful day and I hope you have fun making this recipe. Until next time, peace.